MKO Abiola abandoned my husband, says Kinnib's wife. Hajaya Iredi Kinnib, former wife of one time secretary to the government of the Federation, Babagano Kinnib, has denied that her husband abandoned MKO Abiola at the height of the struggle to validate the result of the June 12 election. After Buhari posthumously conferred the GCFR honor on MKO Abiola, Kinnib was widely criticized as undeserving of a similar honor because he allegedly abandoned Abiola when it mattered most. But speaking in the current edition of the interview magazine, Iredi Kinnib said that it was, in fact, Abiola who left her former husband in the cold. In her first major interview 25 years after former military president, General Ibrahim Babangida, annulled the election, Iredi Kinnib said, whether Kinnib deserves national honors or not, if you are giving it to June 12, then he was part of it. But saying that he would raid Abiola, I have nothing to gain from telling the truth, was unfair. Maybe a lot of people didn't see what he went through himself. He also did not care to make it public. Everybody says Kinai betrayed Abiola, how? Nobody tells us. At least I haven't been told. In case, you want to know, it was a decision and you can verify with Abiola's widows it was a decision that they made collectively that not just Kinai but remember they had Jakand and so many people from the Abiola. Kinnib camp and the government. They were under the misguided notion that Abika was going to hand over to them. And really, as I have said over and over again, Kinnib is no longer my husband and I am under no obligation to say anything good about him. But I also do not believe in telling lies. And as I have said to many people in the past, they are all guilty of bad judgment and not bad will. Continuing, she said Abiola wasn't comfortable enough for round Kinai but only had him as running mate because he needed Kinney to win votes. In truth, Bubba Kinai only went to see Abiola and found out that Abiola had left the country. And when Abiola called from abroad, it was me he got, she said. Those days we had landlines. Bub, Kinnib, was not at home. I picked up the phone and he, Abiola, said to me in Yoruba that I should tell my husband that a bird does not tell another bird that a stone is coming. So, when Bubba came back, I said Abiola called and this is the message he left for you. Bubba said to me. Did he call to apologize? I said no, he did not call to apologize. He just gave an explanation or a rationalization for his action and this is what he said. He said no, no. You didn't understand his Yoruba well. I said you can go and find out from anybody. Iredi Kinnib said Abiola ignored her husband's advice to land in Kano because of the perception that was fast gaining ground that he was a Yoruba president. She portrayed her husband as a hostage of the government of the former military head of state, General Sani Abaka, saying he was miserable throughout and only gained his freedom after Abaka's death. saying she shared the family's dilemma at the time with Nobel laureate, Professor Wol Soyinka, she added, that, it was either Kinnib would stay in Abika's government or Rabika was going to bury him alive. 